Hello everyone. I'm Ben James, and we have had a really interesting lesson today. Our group of guys are in the wings getting ready to come and share their thoughts with you today. We are look at choices for godly living. God from the beginning has given man a choice. It all started in the garden. When God gave Adam the choice of eating from all the trees that bear fruit, except the tree in the middle of the garden. He also gave Adam the choice to name all the animals that God created. But as you know mankind chose to go against God and sin entered it. Let's get to our guys today. Brothers, as Ben said God gave Adam the choice to do certain things and also to not do some things. And man failed, and because of this sin entered into the world. So, because of sin we are all born into sin. Even if we never sinned, because of the fall of man we are all sinners. Well, when you put it this way, it seems like we are all doomed to continue, and stay in the state of the sinful nature. But we're not, because of Jesus coming, and sacrificing himself for us. He took all our sin on him, and because of his death, and resurrection, we are now forgiven, and have a chance to be restored to God. Yes we do, but it is also important that as we walk with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, that we keep our mind, and heart on them. Remember this world is throwing everything at us to keep us distracted from following God. So, we need to allow God to renew our heart, and mind daily. Yes, one of those ways is letting our mind feed on the Word of God. That's right brothers. Another way is to let God clean our mind every day, from all the things the world throws at us. And last is for us to keep our focus, on God and not look at the things of the world around us. There's no doubt in my mind that this group of guys are awesome, when it comes to the things of God. Even as believers in Jesus, we still have choices to make every day. If we are going to do it God's way or choose to do it our way. Remember that our way 100% of the time will lead us to failure. But when we do it God's way we always come our in victory for Him. Brothers, these days in which we are living are going to get really bad as time goes on. Yes, you're right. That's why the scriptures tell us to keep our eyes on Jesus and the signs of His coming. I know I've said it before, but the time of Jesus coming to take His children home is at the door. It's been said that once Israel became a nation, that the end times clock once again started ticking down to the coming of Jesus or the wise known as the rapture of the saints, believers that are living 100% for God not the fence riders or those who have one foot in the world, and one foot toward God. Those fence riders I want to call them will find themselves left when Jesus comes to take the ones that are ready. The Bible says that many shall say Lord I did love you, but Jesus will say, you did it for show and not from the heart. So, depart from me, your workers of evil. Then there will be many who know of Jesus, but never committed to him 100%. Many of those people had a head knowledge, but it never dropped into their heart. Imagine 13 inches from heaven, and the bad place. It's called head knowledge that leads to the bad place. But once you accept Jesus as your Savior, it drops into your spiritual heart and heaven is yours as long as you stay committed to Jesus. So, this is why we are telling all of you about making sure that you choose to live a godly life in Christ Jesus. And do your best to not pattern yourself like the world does, who does not love God, Jesus, or the Holy Spirit. Brothers, I will tell you this the world makes everything look so glamorous, but the end of the road all leads to the bad place where the devil will be. So, brothers, we need to keep telling our audiences about the love of God, and that He loves us, and doesn't want anyone to perish. This is how we can make good choices for a healthy life. Well, our guys are sure fired up today. And you know that they are so right in what they have been talking about to you today. Yes the world's ways are fun and exciting. But! Here's that big but, this living in the world will lead to your spiritual death and eternity in the bad place with the devil. If we chose to live godly for God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, we will be ending up by heaven to be with God forever. So, make that commitment to Jesus today. Do not put this important decision off until another day.